Hi everyone. I am practicing social distancing. It's a good. It's a really nice day in Boston, and um, it's been a crazy week at PIH. Everybody's been working nonstop around the clock. I'm KJ. Uh, I'm one of the PIH doctors. I've been working here for. Uh, almost 20 years on TB and HIV and other infectious diseases but this is this is really unprecedented um, so we're planning an unprecedented response uh, it's going to take mobilization of everybody in our PIH countries uh, to try to prevent uh, this virus from spreading the, uh, I think that the mood on the ground, according to what our sites are telling us, is that it's really, uh, people are really paralyzed. Um, government's not sure what to do. They don't know how to respond. Uh, they're not sure if they, can, if they can respond. And so it's really our responsibility to give uh, these people, our communities, um, these governments that we help, uh, we need to give them the tools so they can, so they can respond. And um, one of the things that our medical director, Joya, uh, was saying this week was that everything starts with testing. If you can't test uh, somebody to see if they have, if they're infected with the coronavirus, you can't tell if they're a patient. You can't tell if uh, they have contacts that need to be traced. You can't tell if there's a mini outbreak in a community and you can't uh, inform that community of what's happening. Everything depends on your ability uh, to test for the virus. Otherwise, you can't have a, a response. And that's a major sticking block for a lot of the countries where PIH is working. The, uh, the normal way, and the way we're doing it in the U.S. and other um, advanced countries is to do PCR. So that detects the actual virus nucleic acid in a nasal swab, in a um, oral swab, or from your sputum. It's a great test, but that test, uh, it, you know, in a lot of our countries, there's only one national laboratory in the entire country that can do the test. Some of our countries don't have any laboratory that can do that test. So we're going to have to think of something different. We're going to have to think outside of the box. This past week, PIH bought 100,000 uh, rapid tests. These are uh, immunoassays. They test for antibodies to the coronavirus. They test for the coronavirus antigen. It gives you an answer in 15 minutes. It, um, uh, and it can be done at the bedside. It's called POC point of care. So they're, they've just been developed. They just have, are coming to the market now. Um, they're not sure. There's a lot of questions about how they should be used, how accurate they are. Uh, if you have PCR, how can be, they be used together? You know, we don't have time for studies to be done. Um, in the countries need something right now, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're gonna, distribute these to eight countries and work really closely with the ministries of health to figure out how best to um, to um, detect the coronavirus and see how far it's spreading and um, and respond to it um, I think this is um, it's uh, really uh, amazing time for PIH. Um, I see right now across all of our sites a lot of people working together, working with partners, um, working with, um, with the ministries of health. Um, these tests are going to hit the ground in the next couple of weeks, so we're working like crazy to figure out the best way to implement them in the country and get people trained up, get nurses trained up, and community health workers uh, who will have to do the mobilization and uh, the contact tracing, uh, the community education. Um, 
everybody uh, in the healthcare system from the very top to the very bottom is going to have to uh, be involved in this coronavirus response. Um, I hope you can join us.